Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva, and this is your first time welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on the Real Housewives Project Runway Edition. Um, I am a huge, a major Project Runway fan. I think in my next life, I'm going to definitely become a fashion designer. But anyway, in the meantime, I've been watching. I know Project Runway has definitely been on for over a decade. Um, I've been watching it from the onset when the original host was Heidi Klum and the mentor to the designers for the workroom was Tim Gunn. And I just used to love when Tim would come in the workroom and tell the designers, listen, um, you got a lot of work to do. Make it work. Anyway, Tim and um, Heidi have since left. They have their own show on, um, I'm going to say Amazon Prime, called Making a Cut. I watched it. I think they had two seasons already. It's a good show. But is it Project Runway? No. Does it have the Project Runway feel? No. Do I miss Heidi and um, Tim on Project Runway? Yes. Do I like the new hosts and, and, and mentor Project Runway? Absolutely do. But I am stuck on Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn. So let's move on. This edition of the um, Project Runway, The Real Housewives, we had housewives from Orange County, New York, and Potomac, okay? And the big to-do that everybody's talking about is Wendy Osefo from Potomac and how she allegedly uh, made the um, designer cry. Now, did the designer cry? Absolutely, yes, the designer cried. But was it, was it Wendy's fault? Um, that's up for debate. And if you watch it like I watched it, I'm not going to lean towards Wendy made this woman cry. But let's carry on for one second and I'm going to back up. For the Real Housewives of New York, we had Leah on there and we had the Countess Lou Ann. Lou Ann is a woman of a certain age. And let me tell you this, Lou Ann always looks amazing amazing in her clothes and she came through for this edition of project runway she came there i believe it was a white dress or whatever she had on luann just looked flawless um i love her look i love the way she dressed so luann was on there and let me see Chantel was her designer now i want to say this Chantel for this particular season of project runway hands down is one of the front runners of designs okay she just does impeccable like designs and, and she sews very well um she's a top runner so luann did get one of the best designers and believe it or not luann's designer won this week so even andy when luann came out in her dress he was like you look amazing um that dress is everything on you it's well made and all of the judges agree that Luann just looked flawless and it, it, it just fit her well. But that particular designer, she's top notch, so I'm not shocked. Now, Leah's designer, um, Coral, she also did an amazing job. So I want to say that the Real Housewives of New York is funny. They had some of the best designers and they this season was the only um, Housewives franchise out of the group that is on this edition that didn't even get to have a reunion show and they had some great looks. Leah's designer did an amazing job. Her dress was just gorgeous. It was like this... Um, like skin tone, color. If you didn't watch it, you got to see it. I just absolutely loved it. So they lucked up, those two from the Real Housewives of New York. But again, unfortunately, they didn't have a reunion. So now let's move on to the Real Housewives of Orange County. Now from Orange County, we had Shannon was on there and um, Gina. Well, Unfortunately for Gina, her designer, Anna, did a horrible, horrific job. And not only that, 
her design, her outfit was nowhere near reunion worthy. So her designer is the designer that got kicked off this week. And I hate to say this, rightfully so. She is a good designer. But you know, with that show, Project Runway, it's um, your performance every week matters. You could have won four weeks in a row prior to, you know, you getting kicked off. So you got to show up and give your best game every single time you show up because if you mess up that could be mean you getting kicked off the show so gina's designer was the worst and made this terrible outfit and left so finally let's get to the real housewives of potomac so the real housewives of potomac they had karen there the grand dame which everybody loved giselle and they had dr wendy acepho so the way they work the process is each person sits down with their desire, designer and tells their designer, you know, their ideas. And then the um, designer will tell them their ideas. And they try to marry and blend the two in order to come out with a great outfit for the individual. And it's tricky. And the reason why it's tricky is because the designer is fighting to keep their spot on the show. But meantime, they got to also try to please their client or their customer. So um, Dr. Wendy's um, designer was Christina. And Christina, she doesn't work well under pressure, okay? Um, she, she breaks, she breaks down. And this is naturally Christina, at least the Christina that I have seen watching this particular season. So when she had to sit down with Dr. Wendy, the sit down went, you know, it went pretty well, I'ma say. They were laughing, they were giggling. And um, Dr. Wendy did tell us, she said, look, I just got my boobs done, I got my butt done, and I want to show it off. And let me just say this. I, I really do. I think Wendy is absolutely beautiful. I think whoever does her makeup, they do it extremely well. And I think she really looks good. And although she got her body done, I it, I feel like it's very natural. It's not over the top. It's not too much. Um, I think her boobs look right. I mean, her butt is not like extremely huge. So bravo to her surgeon. Um, and bravo to her for just being truthful and letting everybody know. But I personally think she does look good. So she told her designer, listen, I want to enhance the boobs. I want to show some leg. I want to show my butt. Now, here's the part where it gets tricky. The designer did tell Wendy, Dr. Wendy, she said, you know, I kind of want to make you some pants. Too. How do you feel about it? And Dr. Wendy said, well, you know, kind of do what you want. Right. Um, do. Well, actually, I think she kind of said, you know do what what you what you feel comfortable doing or no let me take that back what she said is can you make it can you do a pants suit or whatever and so the designer said yes okay so the designer said yes and then the designer um went you know they they part their ways and the, the designers get to work and go buy the fabric and everything so the designer designs a pants suit and so when dr wendy comes back for the fitting um, she wasn't happy and you could kind of see it all over her face. And let me say this on Wendy's behalf. It did not flatter her. It was not cute at all. And Dr. Wendy wasn't happy, but I wasn't happy either. Dr. Wendy really didn't say much to the chick. Besides, like, she really wasn't looking for a pantsuit. She kind of wanted to show off some more skin um, she said very minimal stuff. It wasn't like, girl, why did you, why did you make this? This doesn't look good on me. She did not go off. So then, um, um, Christian comes in because he's their mentor and just to check in and see how everybody's doing. So he walks over to Dr. Wendy and, um, her designer. And let me see, let me just remind myself who Dr. Wendy, oh, Christina walks over to Dr. Wendy, walks over to Christina and just asks them, how's it going? What's going on with the scarf part of her outfit? Because Christina made Dr. Wendy like this jumpsuit. And so when Christian asked that, um, you know, Dr. Wendy just kind of told her feelings, you know, like, oh, it's okay. I didn't really want a pantsuit. And so then Christina was like, well, you didn't tell me you didn't want a pantsuit. We, we kind of agreed and I told you I was going to make a pantsuit. And then as Christian is talking to Dr. Wendy, 
uh, Christina just goes over and starts crying. Then she walks outside the door. She's crying some more and smoking. And then um, from the Real Housewives of Orange County, Gina and I forgot who else came out there and was trying to console um, Christina, the designer, and was like, what's going on? And then everybody else in the room just assumed like Wendy just told this girl off and was so mean to her. And Wendy was like, I, I didn't even say anything to her. She just started crying. And she absolutely did not. So is was Wendy being mean to Christina, her designer? No. Did Wendy make her cry? No. She's a crybaby. And that's my opinion on it, okay? So I think they blew it up because they want to make it seem as if Wendy was just being so mean and wrong to this designer. And listen, if you ever got something made by someone, when you come for the fitting, if your vision doesn't match what they have currently made and what you see, you are going to be a little disappointed. You are going to say, well, I thought X, Y, Z. It is up to a designer. It is up to the person that is making the outfit for you to clarify over and over and over again. So you want a dress? Okay. You want the dress to be short? Are you sure you want the dress to be short? And then they go, okay, you want one zipper? You want it on the side? Do you want it on the back? Do you want a, a, a bustier? So they get this clear with you so that when you come for your first fitting, you're not in shock and be like, oh my God, that's not what I want or that's not what I asked for. And so, you know, Wendy did not go crazy. She did not lose it, but her disappointment did show on her face and baby girl went off on the cry corner crying and then she went outside smoking and she was just saying, oh, she's a diva. Now, unless they cut some footage that I didn't get to see, I didn't see where Dr. Wendy Osefo was being such a diva. I've seen divas and divas would have really went off and had Christina, the designer, crying they would have been like this is ugly this is not what i wanted this is not what i asked for i prefer a gown i want to show some more leg and i want to show some more skin wendy did none of the above so christina is just a crybaby so anyway at the end of the day i will say this too because andy i forgot to mention this andy was a judge on this particular episode and he had to say he said listen you know remember dr sefo called her new boobies happy and nest so andy had to say um i really felt like i was going to see happy a, a, a little you know janet jackson moment and he said i he said that would have made me sad and i'm not here for it so even the judges was not the happiest with dr wendy acefo's um outfit so was wendy um mean nasty to christina absolutely not and not only that the judges were not you know, all in with this particular outfit that Christina made. I'll move on to, um, what is this, her name? Um, the Grand Dame. Her designer was Chastity. Chastity is a good designer, but Chastity can sometimes be uh, a one, a one, what do they call it? A one hit wonder. So Chastity has, um, her certain designs that she kind of knows well and she sticks to. And every week she may do a different version of one of those three designs. So the designers thought this week that she did the same version of a dress for um for the Grand Dame that they have seen before. They wasn't happy with her, but what saved chastity is Karen really loved her dress. And the dress did look really good on Karen. The dress was black. And I do believe 100% that the reunion dress that Karen wore um, this past, you know, reunion for the Real Housewives of Potomac was the dress that Chassie made. They just recreated it in pink because their pink was their color. Um, and so they, that's what they did this year. So um, Karen, Karen looked good. She got a nice design. And Chastity got saved because Karen really stuck up for her and loved her outfit. And Giselle had Aaron. And again, 100%, G 
Giselle wore the design that Aaron made for her on Project Runway. And he made it in pink. So I don't think they probably may have did a little more judging up on it and um, some nick tucking. But um, she didn't have to change hers much because it was already pink. So again, guys, I watched the episode. Did you watch it? Do you really feel that Dr. Wendy was being messy to this designer? I didn't see it. I felt that she really barely said anything to her and then she went off crying. Her business, she's a crybaby. And in this particular case, Dr. Wendy Osefo was not wrong. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments if you watched the episode. Let me know your thoughts. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.